I'm just your typical Mormon gay comic. <laughs> you know what's really stupid? I could have as many wives as I'd like. <laughs> but I don't want them! I mean, what's up with these Mormon wives? Don't they get it? These guys would say anything to get laid. Honey, you need help with the dishes. What do you say I get another wife? Get another wife! Five wives, 20 children? You need birth control! <laughs> help with the dishes. Get a Maytag! <laughs> Oh, it's difficult. it's difficult. It's difficult being a Mormon. Yeah, they want to control your life. There's no drinking, no smoking, no sex, unless you're having children. And I can't seem to find a man to bear them for me. <laughs> it's difficult. And, and the control doesn't stop. They even tell you what kind of undergarments to wear. Yeah, they look like long johns. You can't wear tank tops. I mean, shorts are out of the question. I look ridiculous at a beach. And uh, they, they come down to your knees. They look like a bad brand of uh, Kelvin Klein underwear. That's probably where he got the idea, sleeping with some Mormon. <laughs> and the control, I, I'm confused about this underwear too. Because uh, you're supposed to wear 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it has sacred writing on it. It's supposed to protect you from the devil. The only protection I got was from the sun. <laughs> Homosexuality and farmer tans don't mix. <laughs> well, uh, confession is scary. I went to my bishop and uh, I said, Bishop, uh, I'm gay. He said, you've always been a happy child. <laughs> no, Bishop, it's, it's in my genes. Are those bugle boy jeans you're wearing? <laughs> no, Bishop, uh, I like men. He said, you need to go on a mission. So what you're telling me, Bishop, is I need to go on a mission for two years, alone with another man, <laughs> to a foreign country, alone with another man, a language I can't speak, the only person I can communicate with is a horny 19-year-old. I went straight. Straight to the nearest gay bar. I wanted therapy, but their therapy is scary. Very scary. They, they show you pictures of naked men, and then they give you shock treatment. Well, now when I see those Mormon missionaries riding their bicycles down the street, I get the urge to stick my finger in a light socket. <laughs> oh, scary. A lot of help that did. I, I, I hate, uh, hate hand-me-downs. I used to wear my sister's dresses. Okay, confession, she's a half-sister, but I only wore them half the time. And the hand-me-downs didn't stop. First her dresses, then her boyfriends. Did your mom see the signs? I guess not. And the Mormon policies are really scary. I had, to, I had to go to a church court, and in front of the whole congregation, I'm supposed to convince them that homosexuality is, is okay. And all I could say was, uh, I mean, Scientists say that we're born this way. I didn't choose this. It's, it's natural. It's normal. It's in nature. For example, you've seen two male dogs doing it, right? <laughs> but, but you don't see one putting handcuffs on the other one. Now, s and M, that's not natural. They excommunicated me. Yeah, they said, you're going to go straight to hell. Well, as long as the rest of the queens are there, I'll be happy. <laughs> I mean, the, There'll be great music, uh, beautiful dancers, a fabulous caterer. <laughs> we'll be roasting our weenies and toasting our buns. <laughs> but I didn't know what to wear to a bonfire. I don't know. <laughs> uh, my lover and I have been together for nine years. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. No, we don't deserve that applause. It's only lasted that long because we haven't lived in the same country at the same time. He's in charge of a TV network. No, he's not Barry Diller. <laughs> Although, let's talk about Barry Diller for a second. He was in charge of the Fox network, and he gives it up for a shopping network. What a queen! <laughs> what a queen, but I heard he came out. Everyone's coming out now. That's the hip thing now. I mean, there's Elton John, Lily Tomlin, Sarah Bernhardt, Richard Simmons, Greg Luganis. What would the world do without homosexuals? 
There'd be no waiters. No entertainment. This pink flamingo wouldn't be here tonight. <laughs> Lady, your hair would look like shit. And they'd have to close down Disneyland. <laughs> I know, I used to work there. Probably never again after saying that. <laughs> oh, yeah, life is hard. <laughs> now, I just want to leave you with one thing. It really pisses me off when I hear people say homosexuals are obsessed with sex. No, people are obsessed with sex. Homosex homosexuals are obsessed with show tunes. <laughs> There's no business like show business. Thank you all very much. I'll be